Hi, this is Dan from Cicada Mania, and in this video I want to talk about the seven species of periodical cicada that will be emerging in the United States in 2024. I also, I don't talk fast, because so I like to explain things. Don't complain that I talk slow. Also, what do I look like? I look like a professional wrestler that hasn't worked out in five years. So there you go. Picture that in your mind and uh, we'll be fine. Maybe in future videos, I'll make a, an appearance. Okay, let's talk about the cicada stuff. Okay, so as you know, two broods, one's 19, that's XIX, that has a 13 year life cycle. And the other one's brood 13, which has a 17 year, year life cycle. Don't get them twisted, don't get them confused. 1913. 19's toward the south, 13's toward the north. That's one way to think about it, or really northwest. Uh, so within brood 19, we have four cicadas. Now, if you're in the east, let's say you're in South Carolina, the one you're most likely to see is the Magicata Tradesum. Tradesum means 13. That's exciting. The way to tell that cicada from the other ones is its abdomen is nearly entirely orange. Another way between the eye and the wing insertion, which you can't see in the photo there because there's a thumb and a forefinger covering it. But that area is also orange or like a caramel color. People describe it as. So that's again, M magic cicada tradesum orange abdomen. Just flip it over. Look at it. Orange. That's one. It is. It's also larger than the other ones, but the next one, if we're moving toward the middle part of the country, we have something called the Neo Tradesum. Why Neo? Well, Neo means new. So it was newly described. Also, Neo was a character in the Matrix. That has nothing to do with this. Anyway, so how do you tell that one? Flip it over. Its abdomen is not entirely orange has large thick orange stripes, maybe orange fading into a caramel color, as people say, fading into black. And you can see that on screen. Also has white dots. They're kind of, they just kind of go straight up the body. And there are some areas where uh, the magicated trade decim and neo trade decim, uh, they're the same, they overlap. And in those areas, other than looking at them visually, sonically, they change their song. And we'll go over that in a second or a minute, or more than two minutes. Let's see. The next species is Magicata tradecula. So another tradecula. Again, the trade deck. Anytime you see that, that means 13. Those are smaller. So and you can compare them on the screen, what they look like. Uh, again, black abdomen with orange stripes, but skinny orange stripes. And the white dots, they don't go kind of straight. They, they veer out as... As we get toward the head, they go out. And then we have the Magicata Trey Decassini, uh, and or Cassini. And that one, its abdomen is nearly entirely black. And the white dots also go out, go get wider apart as we get toward the head. Now here's the fun part. All right, we talked about those four species. Let's talk about the 17 year species. They're almost exactly the same. Almost. So now we're switched. That was brood 19. Let's go up to brood 13. We have the Magicata Cassini. So we have Tradeca Cassini or Cassini with the 13 year broods with brood 19. With brood 13, we have Cassini. Magicata Cassini. Cicada is also called the Dwarf Cicada, uh, like, like Lord of the Rings. Um, as you notice, identical to the Magicated Trade Deck Cassini. Cassini, Cassini, Trade Deck Cassini, Trade Deck Cassini, identical. Black abdomen, white dots that spread apart as you get toward the head. Black between the eye and the wing insertion. Okay? The next 13 year one is going to be Magicated Septendecula. And Septen means 17. So very similar to the Tradecula, exactly similar. <laughs> it's just a black abdomen, narrow orange stripes, white dots go off to the spread apart as you get toward the eyes. 
and no coloration between the eye and the wing insertion. The last 17 year one, that's the Masticata Septum Decim and very similar to the Neotrade Decim in that the abdomen is not completely orange, but wide orange stripes fading into caramel, fading into black. So again, let's go over this again. M tray decim, orange abdomen, orange between the eye and wing insertion. M neo tray decim, orange caramel and black on the abdomen, orange caramel between the eye and wing insertion. M tray decula, smaller, tiny, skinny orange stripes with more black. M tray decassini or cassini, black, completely black abdomen. And the sister species for brood uh, 13 and 17 year life cycle, M. cassini, completely black abdomen. M. septendacula, black with skinny orange stripes. M. septendecim, big orange caramel black stripes. Let's switch over to the website. Here's cicadamania.com. There's a lot of cicada websites these days. This one's mine. So I'm going to talk about mine. All right. So what I want you to do is visit this tab up here, 13 year and 17 year cicadas. And what you can do there is scroll. We have these things called brood maps. Um, here's the signs you're going to see a cicada. Uh, you look for cicada chimneys or turrets. or these constructions that they make above ground indicating where they're going to emerge. They don't all do this, but it's typically when the ground is wet, they do this. Next, we have holes. So you can see these holes sometimes right before they come out, after they come out. Look for that. Uh, flip over some rocks. You're going to see some cicada nymphs under that. Okay, what do they look like when they emerge? Uh, I don't know. They look like peanuts, I guess. Um, they're like the brown caramel color. They don't have, they have tiny wing buds. They don't have the wings yet. And they have red eyes. And when they're right about ready to molt, they're going to have a black spot right behind the eye. Here's what they look like when they molt. They molt at night. Probably so less critters are going to eat them. Uh, critters, uh, varmints. And their bodies, I guess, I'll call that white, maybe beige. Uh, and the wing, you can see a little bit of yellow on that. You definitely see the red eye. And you can see the black patch. So the black patches mentioned before, uh, pretty much contains the pigment that's going to spread throughout their body as they harden. Okay. We've seen this picture before. There's a three compared. These are the three 17 or three of the, uh, 13 years. And you can scroll through here, but here's the fun part right here. There's sound files. So you could use this sound file to get the basic sound of what, uh, the decim type cicadas sound like, uh, again, neo tray decim and tray decim they ch uh, the neo tray decim changes the pitch, but the sounds, they say sounds like Pharaoh, Pharaoh or we -o, we -o. And I don't know if the sound is going to come true, but let's test it. Yeah, it's pretty obnoxious. Let's see. And you can press all these buttons yourself. So here's more about the abdomen colors. Here's what the between the eye and the wing insertion looks like. Again, here's what the cast and eye call sounds like. And then the entradecula call. I'll put these into the video. Oh, so just go to that page. You can go to cicadamania.com. Click on that, and you're just going to read. It's like going back to school. You're going to read, and you're going to be the expert. So I'll also post this slide that I had up here. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, where is it? There we go. I'll post this on the website so you'll be able to tell the difference. And then <clears throat> you just read this. And, and you're going to read about all this stuff. So what else can we talk about? Uh, might as well keep going. Agree to the privacy policy or the cookies. Do you like cookies? Cook I think cookies are great. Um, they're delicious. Um, let's see. Kind of a, an update on the brood. It is definitely going. So you see on the map, the section down here going from Georgia, 
up to North Carolina. That's brood 19 emerging. Now there's other brood 19s out here too, but uh, those are mostly nymphs being discovered and you'll be able to see. So I'm on nine naturalists. I should have said that. And you could see the sightings people have. And then people go in here and they correct identifications. They make identifications, stuff like that. But you could definitely see in this area, um, the area of the country is actually called the fall line. And it's where there's a lot of uh, waterfalls, believe it or not. Um, it's basically um, where the mushy part of the United States ends and where, like, the mountainous area starts up here. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's their Route 19 is definitely emerging. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. What else could we talk about? And you could go on that Our Naturalist site and have fun over there. Uh, plenty of great information. Go back to my site. We got T-shirts. You could buy them. 